Uh, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Isaac Tumwine. So in this video, I just want to like teach you how to configure your laptop uh, when you're going to do exams for ICDL on your laptop or on your desktop computer. So it's uh, really a simple task. Uh, we have to configure uh, like few things, net frame, uh, and also what we call PSI plugin. A plugin is just a small software that you download from the internet so that another software you have in your computer can function well. So we usually call it a plugin or an add-on. So let me take you, first of all, the first thing you need to do is to uh, like configure what we call uh, NetFrame 3.5. So you just come here on your start and then you write control panel. Or you just type control, the word control, and then control panel will be coming. Then you click on it. You just wait. So there are really like a few steps. So you can see I'm in my control panel. So maybe your control panel is different from this one. So it can be just uh, looking like this. It may appear like this one. So if it's appearing like uh, the way it's appearing here, you just come on top and then you click on category. So it will be appearing like this. And then you come under programs. You just go to install a program. You click there. And then you come to turn Windows feature on and off. You click, uh, you click there. So you'll be seeing a pop-up window just like this one. So you can see we have NetFrame 3.5 and NetFrame uh, 4.8. So when we are going to do ICDL exams, we usually need to make sure that this one is deactivated. NetFrame uh, 4.8 is deactivated. And then we are remaining only with uh, 3.5 are selected or activated. So I'm going to click here. Then this one is deactivated now. So I remain with this one and then I click OK at uh, the bottom here. So sometimes it depends on your network. It can take a little bit time, so you need to be patient. You can see it is searching for uh, like updates and features. Uh, and uh, over here you just need to grasp uh, just like a code coca-cola and then you wait so let's wait and see uh, you have to freeze a little bit and then you wait perhaps my internet is not stable that's why it is taking a long time but uh, it's better because uh, because uh, you're going to see all the process, the way it goes. So let's be patient and see. Now it have started like our prime changes that it have, uh, it have been searching. So let's wait and see. Still, still searching for updates and uh, other features, so we just need to wait. Nothing you do on your laptop or on your desktop computer. You just need to freeze and get something to drink.
okay so here you can see it's completing uh, but sometimes it reloads and gets other updates so we just need to wait so they are saying uh, windows completed uh, the request changes so after this process a computer can tell you to restart or you restart later so you can always uh, restart if you're prompted with that message so for our case now we are going to click on close and then we go back to turn Windows feature on and off so that we can see if really 3.5 is the only activated. You can see now, 3.5 is the only activated. We no longer have 4.8 uh, selected from here. That's a good job. So now what we are going to do is to enter into our account. So. Let's go to let's go to our account. Our account is Africa. Our site link africa.skillsbox.com. africa.skillsbox.com. This is our interface. Take an example. I have found these credentials. I don't know whose credentials, so let me use them. Uh, maybe it's uh, one of the students. Uh, just for testing to see whether our account uh, whether his account uh, whether he can do an exam on his or her account so take an example let's say maybe you want to do an, ex an exam or a test in computer and online essentials so you just come here and then the first link is the test this one under says so these are just like notes so on certify it's just like a fine exam so if you need to do an exam you just come here on certify so you can see uh, he or she did an exam and even is having the result but because we want to test using uh, his or her account so we are just uh, going to come on the on the test so let me try to open the first link which is the test you just click on it aha uh -huh. So you can see here, uh, you're having OK everywhere, like on operating system, they are saying it should be Windows, uh, screen resolution, this is what uh, this is what they recommend. A web browser, they are saying Chrome. So you can usually use Chrome, or you can even use Microsoft Edge. It's better. So for the pop-ups, pop-ups are just like... Uh, uh, like those advertisements they usually come on our screens so we can usually allow them or block them so here they are saying our pop-ups are disabled therefore we cannot exceed with uh, our continue blue button in other words we cannot click on continue and then and then we move like forward it's impossible so to remove this error you just come here on our address bar on our uniform resource locator then there is something here that has like a, a red X over here I don't know whether you can see my cursor then you just click on it and then you click on uh, always allow pop-ups and redirects just click and then you click on done then after clicking this one you need to refresh so you come uh, on this one over here this is refresh this is a forward arrow this is a backward arrow so we just click on this one so you can see now everything is okay so that means now we have removed an error we can even continue with our exam so that's how we remove a pop-up error now so for computer and online essential now we sorted you can do a test and even you can do an exam but which is different now for the case of presentation, document, and even spreadsheet? Let's try now to enter into another module and we see. Uh, if I come into, let's say, document. Document, most of the time, is Microsoft Word. Let me click on it. This is the, uh, under says we are having tests. You can see we have 2013, 2016, and 2019, and even 365. What does this one mean? They are just like version of your Microsoft Word that you have in your computer. Like if I come here on my search and then I write Word. 
you can see I'm having Word 2016. That means I have Office 2016 installed within my computer. So that means if I, if I open the link of 2013, there will be an error because the Office I'm having is for 2016. So if I'm to do a test, I must open this one of 2016. So if I go here, or even 2019, or even 365, there will be an error. So let me open this one of 2016 you can see for pop-up now it's okay it's enabled but we still have the plugin error now how do we remove the plugin error we just come to download just click on download first of all to download our plugin our plugin we are talking about what we call psi we say the plugin is just like an additional software you download from online so that a software you have in your computer can function more better. So that's what we call a plugin or an add-on. So let me click on download. I just click on download. I hope it will be downloading in a few minutes. So you can see we are having uh, our PSI plugin downloading over here at the bottom of my screen. And after downloading, what I would do is just to double click so that I can install it. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. I'm waiting for it to complete downloading. So I'll just click on uh, open when done. Uh, because after downloading, then we need to install uh, what we have downloaded. So I've started now um, installing it. What I've did is just double clicking on our plugin that we have downloaded. Let's wait and see. So it is installing now. So after installation, it shows you that it have completed. So you just need to click on finish. So now, the second step. After downloading, we have installed our plugin. So what we need now is to make sure that it is uh, like now installed within a web browser. So we need now to install it as an extension or to allow it to appear in a web browser as an extension. So what do we do now? After download, now we come on this button for extension. So we click extension. You just have to wait. Um, you can see it appears in French. Okay, it's back in English. So you can see we have something like add to Chrome. I have my PSI of which I installed and now they are asking whether I want to add it to Chrome. So what I do, I just click on Add, and then I wait. And then when this pop-up comes, you click on Add Extension. Uh -huh. You close this one, and then what you do, to make sure that you have allowed it within your web browser, you usually see this button saying remove from Chrome. You should, not, uh, you should know that now it's there. So what you do is just to go back. So you use this uh, backward, uh, backward arrow. You just click on your backward arrow, which is here at the edge. You click there twice. And as you see now, everything is now turning okay. So on plugin, on plugin, if you can see well, we are having okay now. So that means we have enabled our net frame. Also, it is showing okay. We have installed our plugin within our web browser, which is PSI, and everything is okay now. And another thing, we have entered using a link which has Office 2016. 
So now if I want to do my test, you can see now everything is okay. And if I want, I can just click on continue. Mm. Maybe let me try to enter using Office 2013 and you see how the error uh, will be coming. Everything will be okay, but when you reach on Office, there will be an error. That means you have entered on the wrong, uh, on the wrong version of your Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm. So if I come also on 2019, you can see because the office I'm having is for 2016 and 2019, you can see it works well and I'm having okay. Mm -hmm. So another thing, there is another way to enable like pop-ups. Uh, let me try to go back to enable and disable pop-ups which is the second way actually. You can usually come here uh, on, these, uh, on these symbols at the edge of a web browser and then you come to settings. And then you can see we have something like privacy and security. You just click there. You scroll a little bit down and then you come to site settings. And then you can see we are having our site which is africa.skillsbox.com. You just click on it, scroll a, uh, a little bit down, and then come to pop-up and redirects. So you can see here pop-up and redirects, they are allowed. That's why actually we are having OK on pop-ups. If I just come here and I say block, and then I refresh from this side, let me try to refresh from here. You can see now we are having an error. So it, you can allow from here or even block from here. So this is the second method. If I say allow and then I come here and then I refresh, you can see now everything is turning okay. So I hope uh, this video is useful and I hope it will be helping you in configuring your laptop. And uh, I thank you so much for your attention. So thank you so much, and that's the end of uh, the video.